Oh yeah, that's the door that was locked. And the wine cellar. <gasps> oh heck no. Oh heck no. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're playing Amnesia The Dark Descent. I know it's a horror game. Other than that, I have no clue what this game is about. So let's just hop right into it, shall we? Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Is... I am Daniel. So all we learned is that our name is Daniel? If that is us? I don't know. Okay. We're laying on the ground. Is this motion blur on purpose? Uh. Memento has been added to your journal. J or Y for quick access to your mementos. Press M. Be sure to check these whenever you get stuck. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. All right, I'm turning off this motion blur. That's kind of annoying. All right. Yo, what is happening to me? Okay. It's cold. Let's go in this room, because why not? Oh, press right mouse. Hold left. Sure to throw it. Hold on. R. Go to the okay. All right. Bottle, you are coming with me. You are my protection. And I broke the bottle. Okay. Anyways. I can't tell if that's the. Oh, it's a standard box. Okay, is there anything in here? Like... Uh, okay. Give, give me the broom. Alright, come on. You're coming with me, broom. Nope, come on. Come here. Come here. There we go. Alright, I have a broom. Alright, broom. Come with. Oh, that scared me. But I'm just hitting things with the broom. <laughs> Why is this sideways? Alright, I shall drop the room. This whole thing is moving. Are we sh a ship? I can like kind of move, but not really. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Run! So this game is already just really weird. Noises over here, so I guess I'm going in here. Where, when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on the lights in the environment to parks the sources for other sources of light. I'm like, I'm mentally insane. I'm confused. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with the neglect of family. All right, book. 
Witnessing outside of the events will reduce your sanity. It can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. Here's light. I'm saying again. Oh. I am still quite confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, heck, it's dark. Do I look for a key? Tinder boxes are shown you like in the source of environment. The current number of tinder boxes is shown to inventory. Three tinder boxes. Slight headache. All is good. Notes. No notes are available. Diaries. Oh, look which one find its source. Okay, I guess we're looking for a key. Do you think I look for a key in here or elsewhere? All right, plant, you shall go with me and protect me. Uh -huh. So I'm standing here, it still says just a slight headache. Hmm. A lantern. Just pressing F or selecting it. Inventory. Oh, what was that? Oh, the door opened. I just had to find the lantern. Wait. What's happening? I don't know what's happening. Just a little slight headache. Does this like burn out eventually? I wonder. There's nothing like indicating that it does. Like, what's the point of not keeping it on 24 7? I to know. August 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. Oof. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Um, okay. Oil. Is it in or exit journal? Oh, okay.
Oh, is that wine or blood? I can't tell. Now, what do I, hmm, what do I need? Let's go. We got it. Run, hold on, left shift while moving. We have like a. S Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. I am quite confused. Can't be torn by hands or tools. I can't like go through it. What about fire? All right, let's read our notes. Can it be dissolved? Dissolved. With what, fire? Like, I just used my lamp, so it better not be. Let's go in here first. Yo, what the heck? Can I grab these? Things are nasty. This thing, oh my word. Okay. I guess we'll go upstairs then. Or this way. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. I couldn't read the rest. I don't know if I like this. It's kind of scary. that for it's cold it's so cold you know what I'm gonna go over here get my sanity like back up to where it should be and then I'm going to run away we're not staying in here I don't like this place The door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old Taylor Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. <gasps> that scared me. Fine, we'll go this way. Hmm. 
archives. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Merlin doing this, the young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock. Wow. Okay. I mean. Uh. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Okay. Uh, I hate the sounds. Like, bruh. Yo, what the heck is these other sounds? Like, uh, no. Nothing else should be making sounds. By the way, what is this, like, buzzing in my ear? Uh, no. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was okay. trapped. Well. Alright, you're coming with me. Wait. Oh, I wanted that to come with me. Some scared. Stop doing that. Oh heck no. Is there anything I can do to like fuel for lantern? Okay, no like. I wonder what the tinderbox does. That's great. Is 
so many sound cues. Well, I say sound cues. It's not exactly. All right, chair, you are coming with me. You are my protection. Well, I can have both. Actually, I'm pretty sure I was watching a playthrough one time and there was this girl and she was running from a monster in either this area. Holy crap. Or a place that looked like it. Why? No, there's no point in those sound effects. Literally no point. Like stupid. Oh, is this last one? Please tell me it's the last one. Like, I can't, it won't let me take my lantern out. I wanted to read it! 17th of May, oh. 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry. But I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Right here, you're coming with me. So that's that's all three. Oh, that broke. How do I find the stupid note to self? Is that it? That's all I have a note to myself. Watch out, but not breakable by hand. Can I throw something at it? Come here, you're coming with me. Cool. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Oh, is that what I need the tinderbox for? Oh, that's as much as I have. It's locked. Okay. I like. There we go. Altstadt and Brandenburg Castle, 1801. Another really region rich with lore is Altstadt. I can't speak to that. Deeper than the East Prussian woods, for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest clad mountain stretched with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twist on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. This story reaches all the way back to the time of 30 years war. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods 
and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have led them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sided them over the years and described them as horde revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They're called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal live living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks drag behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? That's very scary, and I feel like maybe that's what we have to deal with in this game. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he's mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwest glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some 10 years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? The Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt. And like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular through his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recovered. recorded. I can't read. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago. Lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted orders of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Anyways, now what do I do? Wait, this looks like I would stack it somewhere. A draft faint ladder coming from behind the shelf. There must be a way in. Maybe you have to wait for all of them to go down. All right. Um, I don't know. Like it won't let me move them again. Oh. Oh, there we go. I thought I had them all out the first time. The ones. Should I be. Oh. I was supposed to say, should I be worried and start running? But. I guess not yet. Won't budge. Oh wait, is this the place? This is the place where we were at before. Oh yeah, that's the door that was locked. And the wine cellar. Oh heck no. Oh heck no. I don't know. We have to go in after that. Oh heck no. Oh come on. No. 
No, 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 no. Okay, we have a lot of oil, so that makes me feel a little bit better. Ice. Oh, I'm so... Mm. Okay, I'm... I'm very on edge now. Oh, heck. This looks like an area with lots of places to run around in, and I really don't like that. Except that one. Okay, that door's locked. It makes you feel like it's dumb, but it makes you feel slightly better because that may mean something won't chase you. Oh, stupid bugs. I hate those things. One cellar? Oh, entrance hall. Oh. The sand gave way to his tired body as he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wind gently sweep across his face and his dry, crested lips. <gasps> oh, what the heck? Do the all is good, head is pounding and hands are shaking. That's where do I where... I don't think I got on there. I can't remember where the wine cellar was. Didn't we try to go down here? Oh yeah, that's what was locked. Where was the wine cellar? We went in there, right? Laboratory. Oh, wait, this is the wine cellar. Wine cellar. All right, guys. Actually, I hate to do this to you, but I think we're going to wrap up here today. If you enjoyed, please remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more epic content. We will definitely be playing this game more because, like, so far I thought it was really good. And I haven't played a good game in a long time. I guess see you guys next time. Adios.